Good morning. You know, I gotta say this. Somebody gotta say it, but I will. I just finished watching Plus Size Elf episode eight. And like I said, I couldn't get a chance to watch it because I was at Anime NYC all weekend. But you know what? Somebody gotta say it, and I will. Plus Size Elf, best anime of the summer. I shit you not. You wanna talk about best girls of the summer? Plus Size Elf. You wanna talk about which series got the best, girl, the hottest, gorgeous girls? You have to put the Plus Size, the cast of Plus Size Elf in the top five gorgeous girls groups in anime. Like, you got the fairy tale girls, you got the girls of Bleach, you got the girls of High School Dicks, these Shimmer Mount Testament. The plus size elves, the cast, the ogre, the dark elf, the main elf, the cyclops, the pig girl, the dog girl, all those inter all those species better than Monster Misune. F Yo, these girls are fucking hot. So effing hot. The thickness is Oh my god. I'm going crazy and I'm going excited. I'm not even that close. I'm not even doing a review yet. I'm just ex I'm just like this is why Plus Size Elf needs to be in a top 5 or top 10 best anime of the summer. Because of shit like this. Guys, if you into the thickness and the gloriness of the thickness in anime and thick and the realism of thick girls in life, this is the show for you. This is the show for you. Look, plus size elf, I got to give credit. Yeah, maybe it's 12 episodes, 11, but that doesn't change the fact that they should change that 5.6 rating to now a fucking 8. 8.5. Because this show, yeah, I mean, it's short, but this show is fucking gorgeous. Now, this uh, now <sighs> introducing these new characters and giving us what we want some fan service, pretty I understand it's fan service. But the dieting and working out vibe is so effing good. There's not one bad episode I'm hating on Plus Size Elf, and I gotta get right to it. So without further ado, let's get right to an episode 8 review of Plus Size Elf, because boy, it was on. Now, opening starts off with Plus Size Elf with the gorgeous, the gorgeous human girl, the gorgeous hum human, you know, putting on her, putting on her spandex and all that, you know. We don't really see her that much. We see other characters, but we don't see the human girl. You know what I mean? We don't see her. So he, he asked MC to go to some hot tan, hot sauna yoga thing. You know, like some meditation to lower the stress, to lower the sweat and everything. Those kind of meditation. So he brought his entire harem. Yo, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I wish I was in that world right now. I wish I was, you know how we, like, we want a harem? That's the, I want a harem of thickness in my life. When you have a cast like that, the elf, the dark elf, the mermaid, the cyclops, the ogre, the, the dragon, the, 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 the damn pig girl, the damn dog girl, the, like the entire cast. I want the entire cast. I'll smash every single one of them. And I'm damn well sure y'all ain't gonna pass on none of them. Because they're fucking hot. I will smash everybody. Damn, I wish I was the MC. The, the MC of Plus Size Elf, he's one of many characters I wish I had a harem of. And I know he's not the GOAT, even though Rentaru is the GOAT of the 100 Girlfriends who really, really love you. Even though he's the GOAT. I will have, it's like he's one of many MCs that I want, like, be in his shoes and have a harem. You know what I mean? He's one of many. Rentaro from 100 Girlfriends. The MC from Plus Size Elf. The Issei from um, High School DxD. Boston of a Shin Mount of Testament. Rito from To Love Ru. Minato from Sekirei. Every harem that I see, I question myself. It's like, damn. That should have been me. And it should have been me. But going on. So now they're going to this yoga thing. You know, everyone's trying to yoga. And Oga... You know, she loves sauna, and it's like a sauna type yoga vibe thing to reduce, to reduce sweat, sweat, meditation, and sweatness, and being flexible. Soon as that happened, everybody was naked. When I first saw that, I'm like, 
I almost, I, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know where I'm going with this. They're fucking hot. Everybody looks so damn hot. I did a tweet. I just posted it on X, Twitter, whatever you call that. I posted it the moment I finished the episode. I kind of posted it. Go watch my tweet, guys. I'm literally ecstatic on this. Everyone was told, everyone was naked 100% from the waist down. Everybody looks mad freaking hot. I, look, I'll say it and I'll say it again. I need a figure. I will have to buy a figure for the entire cast. <laughs> if they have swimsuits for them, I'll buy the entire cast a plus size elf swimsuit. I think they need merch. Can we get a, can we get an Android? Can we get a fucking Nindroid of the girls from Plus Size Self? Can we get a Nindroid? Please, good smile. Please. I'm begging y'all. Get a, Can we get a Nindroid? Can we get Ben Ben Presto or any booth or any Buddha Nepco, whatever you call it, any booth to give us figures? Swimsuits of Plus Size Elf girls? I want one. Take my fucking money. I don't care. Now that's here and there. So now we get now they're back to the clothes and they mad flex. But the whole purpose of this episode was yoga and flexibility. And everybody was mad flex. Yeah, this episode gave us some def define of poses. You know, there was a lot of poses. Like the backward dog, the lion pose that the pig did. And that was sexy, by the way, if we should stick her tongue out. There was some they showing us all different poses of yoga to practice. I mean, I once did yoga before, but that's that this is why I love this episode. Despite the fan service, they did told they did shows about yoga. See, that's the thing when y'all don't watch Plus Size Up, you watch for the fan service and the thickness, but you're not looking at it from a story standpoint. And I watched it, and I yeah, story wise, it's all about yoga. The yoga poses were mad freaking gorgeous, showing so many ass shots. It's like I want to slap their ass every day. And then you got the dark elf, then you got the dark succubus who literally just hurt. Her misunderstandings of words with the MC just straight off the line. I mean, like, she fantasized the MC talking talk about sweat and all that. And she fantasized him with uh, with all the gorgeous girls. Damn, I wish I was him. Why couldn't it have been me? I wish I was in that predicament with every thickness of all the cast of Plus Size Self on me. I'll smash any, any of I'll smash all of them, I swear to God. Now... During that whole process, you got the elf and the dark elf still cannot get along. I like their rivalry because no matter who starts who, they always arguing about their big ass, their big stomach. They will go back and forth at that. And that's the thing when it comes to, it's like the black and white. The, you got chocolate and vanilla and they're fighting about who's got the best, who who's, who's like, who's better ice cream? Who's the best ice cream? The chocolate or vanilla? That's what this, that's what the whole... The dark elf and elf is fighting. Who is better? Who got the best cakes? Who got the best peaches? Chocolate or vanilla? Which is the best? And those two have been going at it since day one. And then you got the ogre and the cyclops just going at it again. Because we, we haven't got the boxing match. I wanted to see who won. You got them arguing about because the, the, the sprite girl, who's a mo who's older. She's like the Masuma Kuno Revenge. She's all mother, like, like these two are battling for mother supremacy of who's going to take care of, uh, of her. And then you got the the ogre and the cyclops going at it again. We went from, we, it's like we went from yoga meditation to now fight, 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 fight. And that's what the entire thing was. I wish we would have seen more of the ogre and cyclops going at it. I will pay money. It's like looking at a pay-per-view. You want to see where this goes. I will love it. And again, the elf and dark elf going at it again is so freaking right. You know, there's still one more character. I think there's still like maybe one or two more characters left. And I think we all know who it is. And I hope that we get to that. Well, it's short. So we're going to get to see that. But overall, though, what can I say? What can, What do you expect me to say? This show... Plus Size Elf needs to be in the conversation as one of the best animes of the summer. Because this show is not just about the thickness of anime girls, even though we rarely got thick anime girls. I mean, they, they, these girls are fucking hot. They fucking hot. They, they're better than the girls in fairy tale. But that's, 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 a, that's a different topic in another way. That's a different hot take in another way. But what I'm saying is they, we, they are so fucking hot. And I'm sweating just talking about because they're so fucking hot, by the way. My point is, they need to be, plus size elf need to be in the top 10 com uh, conversation as one of the greatest, if not the greatest show of the summer. Because they gave us so much. 
The plot is so good, you can't even blink. So guys, once again, if you into the thickness of anime girl, if you into the thickness, thick bodies, boobs, ass, tits, just go watch Plus Thyself. Trust me, you won't regret it. So thank you for watching my review of Plus Size Self. I'm looking forward to more episodes. I even know it's coming to an end. It really is a great time to watch it. Trust me, you're going to get your money's worth. And I hope we get figures of it real soon. So for all you out there watching this video, spread the word out. Make them a figure, please. Please do. I really hope so. So stay tuned for next week.